working and the institutions and the agencies that really are uh, support are created by by our enemies. Right? I don't doubt that, but we have to be careful. Um, Obama uh, is, you know, while he might be the son of Africa, Mobutu <laughs> is the son of Africa too, and so is Blaise Compar, the son of Africa. So that, notwithstanding, the enemies. <laughs> of our people can be, you know, come, be among us. This is what class struggle means when we start talking about class struggle. So we have to be clear that our strategies must be to build local power, um, to make sure that the most impacted are of that cl that class is in is uh, empowered, and then and making a distinction between who the enemies are. We're not. I also want to be careful of certain ideas. I'm going to wrap up with this: is that um, I'm not sure what it when we say. That we're all African, and a lot of you know, because we're talking about the United, uh, people originating in Africa, and we hear hear this concept uh, when people migrated from one place to that Africa was in Africa. You know? And in fact, we have to be careful that to say everyone originated in Africa is that to say everyone is African, because everyone is no more African than anyone. Everyone is European, or everyone is Asian, you know. And so we have to make sure that there's a, a, a constructiveness to our identity. It's a reason why we say we're African. We're not just African because of where we came from. We're bound together because of our, our economic, historical, and cultural you know, experiences that ties together right now. And this is why, we, again, the sister talked about political education. We can't do any of these practical things without the battle of ideas, without politically educated the masses. That has to come concurrent, simultaneously, with what we're doing. We have to build ideas and buy in from the masses of the people in order to, for them to embrace these projects. Um, revolution, you know, what Malcolm X talked about when he was doing the OAU, we, we talked about Nkrumah, and Nkrumah was overthrown by the United States government. So we have to be clear on who our enemies are.